Units throughout the Pacific Air Force's region gathered at Kuntan Air Base to take part in Max Thunder. This joint training exercise simulates the planning and scenarios of real combat. The training opportunity gives both American and Korean forces invaluable training time together. Well, you want to train like you're going to fight. You know, we cannot afford to train as USAF, train as ROCAF, and then if the time comes when we need to fight, figure it out then, because that's not the time to do it. With over 60 aircraft involved, this exercise pushes the limits of everyone. We're simulating the stress and really the absolute chaos of having that many airplanes coordinating a mission at the same time. Both sides demonstrated their ability to fly, fight, and win. So should they ever have to fight together, they can concentrate on the mission. What we've proven as a region, we can bring jets up from Kadena, we can bring jets from the Rock, and uh, we can make a big plan come together airborne and execute very well. Captain Brown added that although the common goal of the airmen involved, U.S. and Korean, was one of teamwork, the two air forces ultimately stood together as partners. Performing exercises of this caliber with this amount of integration uh, is exactly what we need to be doing in order to seamlessly integrate if that time comes. Air Force Sergeant Michael Shocker, Kunsan Air Base, Korea.